NCIS. Yeah. 17 years. No, 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 not that long, but I did 15. 15. 15, yeah. 15. Now, we talked previously, too, about this, and we talked about how you got on NCIS, and there was a show that you did a couple episodes for that led to yeah. NCIS. What was the show before? So I did a I did a, a show, a drama called House. Um, and when I did it, I was like, you know, I had done so much music and I had a lot of hit songs. I was like, oh, man, I want to give myself a new challenge. So I was like, so I told my team, like, yo, I'm going to try a new challenge. Let me, you know, because I had, you know, acting all, 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 all along in certain movies and stuff. So I said, I want to try a drama because I enjoyed the process. I thought the, I thought the show would last two years, B. I thought I'd be right back doing albums. And, you know, like I, I thought it, it was like, yo, it was like dad went to the store. He didn't come back for 15 years. You know what I mean? Like, like I, yo, I, I was just going to get a half gallon of milk. I mean, I didn't know I was going to be, you know what I mean? But um, that's what happened. So I, I, I didn't want to walk away from the success. You know, once I committed to it, you know, you got 250 people here. They all count on me. I'm sitting there scratching my head every every time we come up for renewal, which I'm happy. I was happy to do it. I enjoyed it. I'm very grateful. But at the same time, I was like, <sighs> you know, like, I, you know, I'm not on tour. I'm not, you know, my day one fans, they they tired of defending me in the barbershop. I ain't made a two album. I ain't made a record in 400 years. They can't defend me in the barbershop no more. They mad at me. You know, then everybody else is a better rapper now. Yeah. <laughs> on top of that, I done dropped a couple of experimental albums that weren't, didn't have the same cultural impact. So that's like, wait, it's leaning. It's leaning on that. So it's like. No, no, <sighs> with them. No, no, no. The barbershop talk is on this side of the barbershop talk is, oh, he done fell off. Oh yeah, yeah, they love that. But that for me And on this side of the barbershop, yeah. they with the oh no, yeah. no, no, you forgot. Yeah, and that's when I took it personal. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when it was personal for me. Remember? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I just like I love that kind of stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's inspiring. Like I love when, you know, I'm a, I'm weird. Like I love when people think I can't do stuff like this. But I think that's I, fantastic for I me. I think people don't people don't the general public don't really understand how real of a person you are because you know how we put celebrities and artists on a certain level like they yeah. superhuman like yeah. there's something different about them than everybody else. I think people don't understand how real you are and how you relate to everyday people on a, on a personal level. Like you can't talk to everybody, but the people that do know you. And have experience being around you, yeah. they know, like me and you sitting in Papa Do's kicking it. Oh yeah. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Good food too. <laughs> Yo, um, you know, you know what it is, is that um, so first of all, like I was I told somebody this early. When I walk in a room, people see a famous guy and they see the familiar face and all that. But see, that's a byproduct of me loving my art. I'm not famous just to be famous. So although I may be famous and be well known and you see a guy, it's like a poster or a TV screen walking in a room or something. The reality is I love my art first. That's one thing. Secondly, when you talk about artists and real, yeah, the only difference between like, you know, the, it, it's, 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 it's the area of focus and the level of commitment. That's what's going to separate an artist or like a, like a championship caliber player, basketball player or Super Bowl you know, like it's the area of focus, the the level of focus and the level of commitment to what it is that they do. You know what I mean? See, a lot of people like, you know, there's nothing wrong with being a, a everyday person. The only uh, uh, like a lot of people don't aren't willing to. They're willing to work as hard as is humanly possible, but it isn't always in the area that they truly love. Right. And so that's the kind of the difference because my grandfather worked hard. My grandfather, you know, I still got his shoe shine box. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, for a long time, I wouldn't even let people shine my shoes because I just bothered me because I hated it. But then one day a guy checked me and said, yo, that man, that's a job for that man. And, but it used to bother me because my grandfather had to do it, you know, but I understood. So, but I say that to say, basically, you have to have the courage to go after what it is that you truly want to do. That's the thing that separates people. Because people work hard all day long in many different areas. But they don't be doing nothing. <laughs> well, well, they're doing something, but it, what it is is they don't, they're working hard, but they're working hard. And at the same time, they're believing that it's not possible for them. 